Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Gardening for Life channel. Today we have a really exciting episode on one of the most commonly used spices. It's called coriander, the other name is dania. Uh, I would encourage you, all of you guys to give a try to use the store-bought uh, coriander seeds and to put it really in small containers or you can put it directly in the ground. It's really easy to grow. We're going to show you some tips how to use these market-bought seeds, uh, which are relatively quite cheap. Let me show you guys the bag that I have so here's a, a small bag of coriander seeds that we bought from the store it's around 250 grams which is around 300 seeds roughly and it costed us only 150 shillings which is around one dollar in the store and it's roughly the same price when you go to the states or when you go to India and other countries um, it's quite a cheap um, spice to buy but it's such an easy spice to grow today we're going to show you a couple of tips so let's get going so these are the seeds that we bought from the store what we're going to do is gently take out the seeds I'm going to show you a couple of methods and we're going to do a little bit of experiment as well um, as you can see we have a rolling pin we have a tissue here a paper towel and we have a ziploc so there are different methods of actually doing this one of the methods which is quite clean and easy to do is to just grab a bunch of these nice coriander seeds they smell amazing actually and then you just put them in the ziploc and you can put as many as you want it's good to go and what we do is we take a rolling pin and we gently crush it and you want to make sure you exert very gentle and gradual pressure all over very uniform you don't want to put too much pressure on one side and not enough on the other you want to just gently crush it you don't want to do it too much and that's precisely why we don't use a blender um, to do this crushing we want to do it manually with a rolling pin or you can even use if you don't have a rolling pin you can just grab a glass or you can uh, grab a maybe a jar like this and you can gently do the crushing very simple uh, once you're done with this crushing you just want to make sure that you can see the half of the seeds and most of these seeds should be already crushed so I just want to show you guys how it looks once it's crushed so all of most of these seeds you'll see have been crushed in half and the reason why we do this process of crushing it before we put it in the ground in the soil is so that it germinates faster this actually cuts down on the germination time by at least four to five days which is quite a lot um, so this is one way of doing it you can crush it in the ziploc and then put it in the ground the other way the second way i want to show it if you don't have a ziploc but you have a paper towel or a handkerchief what you can do is grab again a bunch of coriander seeds and what we do is again we do the crushing gently with a rolling pin or a glass or a or any jar that you might have in the house or you can even use a spoon and gently crush these seeds again you want to just make sure that you crush these into half pieces and not overdo the crushing the smell even comes out more and more as you crush them such a nice smell once you're done with this crushing what we do is let me show you how it looks like so you can see all these halves have come out and what it means is it's going to germinate much faster once it's crushed but also you're getting much more seeds as well so you're getting twice as many seeds when you crush it um, each of these whole seeds so each of these whole seeds that you see once it's crushed into half you're just getting the double amount of seeds that's the beautiful thing about doing this process um, and then it's ready to go into the ground now I want to show you a third method essentially you grab a glass of water or a jug of water we use recycled um, goods around the house so we what we're going to use is just a 
um, jar that has been a plastic bottle that has been cut in half and what we're going to do is soak these seeds that we have just crushed in half and gently drop it in the water and then what we're going to do is just soak it for one day before actually putting it in the soil and the reason we do this is to actually make the germination process faster and in fact the germination process will be cut down by another four to five days compared to just putting the seeds directly in the ground So we're going to do a little bit of experiment now. We have three little pots, as you can see here, that have been labeled. Uh, one is going to have the crushed seeds, and these are the ones from the Ziploc. We're just going to take the crushed seeds, gently put it in the soil, and it doesn't need to be very deep. So coriander seeds only needs one inch of soil on top, and that's it. So it's very light pressing into the soil and then we have another little pot which is labeled as crushed and soaked so we're going to take the soaked seeds um, I already have the soaked seeds ready with me I'm going to put those in here and we have the full seeds which is basically the seeds directly from the store that we have done essentially nothing to we put it directly in the soil so these are our soaked seeds uh, that have already been soaked for one day and you can see clearly the there's been some discharge of color with the soaking and it's completely fine to use this water it's almost like a fertilizer water so what we're going to do is use a sieve and a glass and simply drain out the water to make sure we get all the seeds Once that's done, what we're going to do is grab our little pot that's been labeled seeds and soaked seeds and we're simply going to sow them in with a very thin layer of soil on top just like the other two pots this is our compost soil we just make sure that we cover it so now we have three pots. This is the ready. We have the seeds that have been crushed. We have the pot with the full seeds that have not been processed at all. And we have and we have the crushed and soaked seeds. We label them and we have noted the date today and we're just going to use that fertilizer water we soaked in to water So now we're just going to gently soak the seeds. Is after we have soaked the seeds, um, we're going to leave these out and for the experiment we're going to put them in the same exact condition so we're going to give them equal amount of water daily um, and we have labeled and noted the date of today and let's see how it goes guys with these three different condition seeds and what we're hoping to see is that the 
one in the middle that's been crushed and soaked will actually germinate the fastest but let's just see what happens uh, also to note is that we are using the same exact soil for all three of them so we're just using simple compost mix for all three so no difference there and they're going to get the exact same conditioning in terms of water and sun so i'll see you guys in a few days and let's see how it goes so here's an update after our 10 day mark what we can see is a drastic difference actually uh, to my surprise as well um, so the soaked seeds that have been crushed on the very left you can see clearly um, the seeds have germinated they're actually doing really well there's a lot of foliage um, the one in the middle was the one that we had soaked but we didn't crush these seeds and the very right is the one that was full seeds we didn't soak it we didn't crush it regular seeds so we can see a little bit of a difference between definitely between the crushed and soaked with the others but between the full and the crushed seeds not terrible difference uh, however we can see a little bit more of the seedlings germinating here in the crushed seeds so let's see after a couple of days how it looks thanks a lot guys so it's been 20 days and what we can really see is the crushed and the soaked seeds have done so well they have really taken off um, compared to the full seeds here only three have germinated in 20 days um, three to four and then the ones that were crushed but not soaked in the middle have done slightly better we have about five or six seedlings coming out but not nearly as well as the ones that were crushed and soaked um, so clearly i mean based on this experiment it's a really big conviction for me as well it's the first time i'm really trying out this experiment and it's really good to see that it makes such a difference to soak the seeds um, crushing slightly but not so much but soaking the seeds is absolutely such a big difference it's like almost five six hundred percent of a difference from the full seeds or even the just the crushed seeds um, so i hope this was a good experiment and learning process for me and for you guys as well um, and hope to share more of these experiments with you in the future Thanks a lot guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and hope to see you on the next one. See you. Bye.